Hey guys, it's Adam here at EA AirVenture 2025, and I'm here with Jan Egenfellner from Viking Aircraft Engines. And uh, we all know Jan from uh, the lineup of aircraft engines he makes, specifically for the kit plane market. And it wasn't, uh, I don't know, maybe a few weeks ago, or maybe it's been a month or so, I don't know. Right. We were on the Viking Forum and we saw a concept aircraft, looked like a twin engine aircraft, and we all thought, oh, it's just a future concept. And then it wasn't just a few weeks later, we saw parts being made. So maybe tell us a little bit about uh, the uh, kit you got going here. I think uh, maybe a little history on it. Okay, yeah, that'll be good. Because, you know, I think things like come about from something, right? Right. Like my big... Uh, black sprinter van that I have now, I kind of feel like when I think back, where did that come from? Why did I want a sprinter van? And it comes from having a hippie van, a VW bus in college and living yeah. in it. Yeah. You know, so then I can't have a VW bus now, but because I got a bigger family and right. I got dogs and all that, four little wiener dogs. So this van came about. And it's the same with this little twin engine airplane I'm thinking about, or actually far along on right now. Right. I think it came about because I did the aviation schooling type of thing, right? Yeah. I did aviation management. I did uh, professional pilot. I was like commercial pilot for a short time. I was I got my A and P license, and so I was all set up to like fly the big buses and, and or you know air buses right. and being a. So, but I never did. I started with a very easy, and I started with like home built planes, and sure. I've just found more love in doing the smaller planes. So maybe now having this oversized twin, even though it's only four seats, it's like I was never my own captain yeah. in an airliner. So I think that's where it comes from. I want a big airplane with the capability of carrying four people and my dogs, and if I want to go to Cancun. Um, I need two engines. I want yeah. to like head over to Cancun, sure. You know, for vacation. So, it started with that, and then I have you know some knowledge of the pop riveted type of airplanes or right. pull rivets, like from the RV12 and the Zenith sure. style type of planes. So I said, well, everybody's kind of going that way with construction. Yeah. Why can't we use that to build a simple twin engine airplane? Sure. Yeah, and we've seen uh, some fast progress on that. You give us an idea of the wingspan size, like. Some well, the 172 and the 182 okay. is the most famous airplane, right? Sure. And uh, so you, you know, you, you and it's a four, they're both four seaters. So the logical thing is to base it around that. So okay. 172 and a 182, they have the same wing. Um, 17 or like 1700 square feet of wing area, or 50, 1500 square feet. So my twin has 2000 square feet of wing area, so just a little bit more. Okay. Um, because uh, I just wanted a, a low wing loading. I'm not okay. looking for a Shrike Command or something sure. fast. <clears throat> if, uh, you know, everybody talks about twins as being more dangerous right, than, a, right. than a single, and I want to get away from that. I, I'm not looking for the 200 knot airplane. I'm looking for it. room. You know, my first airplane was a very easy, like I said. And when you went on vacation in a very easy, it was one credit card, one set of underwear, and some socks, right? Yeah. And then you buy everything you need. Yeah. Well, I want to be able to bring my wiener dogs and my yeah. family and stuff yeah. like that. So. Very nice. And engines, I know we talked a little bit about that. There's talking about some new technology that maybe Honda's using or you're using, planning on using on that. Yeah, in fact, it's always been a thing with the Atkinson cycle. And if for, those, for those people who are interested in like read up on the Atkinson cycle. And... It was, it was always like, it, it didn't win out in favor of the auto cycle, which is what we're familiar with, with a four-stroke engine, it makes good power right. and all that. But it is a more economical way of running the same engine. It's called the Atkinson cycle instead of the auto cycle. And it has a feature where you can have more compression. Some of the intake charge goes back into the intake manifold. It runs more efficient. Of course, as the years have gone by, people were interested in performance. But now with the new engines, they can do both. You can yep. have, because of the fact that you can turn the intake valve or the whole camshaft, and you can turn it even further than they could 10 years ago because sure. they use electric VVT or variable valve timing, the intake cam can now turn so far that you can have the auto cycle 
for takeoff and, and when you want power. Right. And then you can have the Atkinson cycle, which is more efficient when you're cruising along. Right. So if you can have a twin-engine airplane that totally uses just eight gallons an hour between both engines. Both engines. You know, that's that makes amazing. it like a single, but the benefit of another yeah, exactly. engine. So that's the exactly. idea. Yeah. Anything new in the lineup here? We know we've, we're using the Viking 195 on our Super Duty. Yeah. Um, any new technology here? Anything? Any updates you want to share with? Uh, well, Rotex or? did right. They came out with like the 916. Right. So people in our field, like you and me, that are building home built planes, we follow that. Okay. So Rotex got that 916, and the military is using the 916, and everybody wants a little bit more and all right. that. So we got, you know, we got our General Motors engine, which is a 1.2 direct injected, turbocharged, 140 horsepower, tiny little three-cylinder with a balance shaft engine. Mm -hmm. So I think that's our new one, and the one that we're doing an awful lot of inf installations, like in the in the Zenith low wings and things low like wings. that. Yeah. Okay. Anything that you know wants that kind of power. It's a little more of a hot rod engine, yeah. but it's also a very solid engine. We we have a few hundred hours on it now, and it's. The only one that's a General Motors engine, everything else is right. uh, Honda. Honda, and yeah. Other than our little 90, which is still a uh, Mitsubishi. Sure, yeah. okay. Well, we appreciate the updates. I know we're uh, we're still working on our build, but uh, we've had our engine installed. We've, we've had it running. Uh, the, the support from Viking has always been excellent. And uh, we really appreciate everything you guys do for the industry and for us personally. So I want to thank you, Jan, for yeah. uh, talking to us today. Sure. And uh, have a good show. See All right. And as far as, uh, you know, anybody's on Facebook, you just search for Experimental Twin. Yep. There's not a lot of Experimental Twins. You'll find yeah. it there. No, yeah. there's not. No. So do you have a, uh, let's, one last thing, I guess, would be, do you have, like, a goal in mind when you want to have that? You can see it at Sun and Fun 26. 2026. 2026. 2026. So next Sun and Fun, the little airplane will fly from Florida to Florida, basically from our place <laughs> right. to Sun and Fun. And you nice. can see it there. Okay, well, there it. you have it. So 2026 yeah. Sun and Fun yeah. for the Experimental Twin. And That's you can it. follow that on Facebook. And they don't have a name by that. Yeah, okay, yeah. cool. All right. Thanks, right yeah. now, it's the Viking ship. The Viking ship. That's there it, you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, appreciate it, Jan. Thanks a lot. Let me get on.